going on guys I was watching one of Glendon's videos one day and obviously this was one of the days he's pissed off at his subscribers and um, you know you guys are going in on him in the comments and he goes I dare you I dare you to start your own channel I dare you to start your own online business I dare you to sell your own courses because you guys be in the comments talking like it's so easy to do this stuff and I don't agree with everything he says but he's, he's able to dare you guys because he's right the average person is never even going to stick it out long enough to see the results. The only thing I disagree with Glennon is he'd be like, well, how are you been watching me for years and you haven't done anything? Some of us have. And according to his own information, sometimes it takes us longer than others just to build the brand up. So a few of us have, they might not necessarily be the haters, or some of them may be the haters, but it could take years. I've been on YouTube for years, and I've just now have the ability to get signups from the organic traffic, just now. 2024, I'm just starting to get an influx of signups for my affiliate marketing offers. So it could take some of us longer than others. Some of us are introverts. Some of us, they, it just takes longer for us to try. Some of us, we want to analyze all the details, like the names of the channels and the domains. We want to analyze that so long that we never get started. So it's not like you can't be watching somebody's channel for literally years. And it may seem like you haven't progressed because some of you haven't. Some of you just been watching. But a very small percentage, I would say, actually at least set up the LLC. They might not have started marketing it and doing what they need to do. And Glennon has said this before. And I believe he said he was already doing it. And this could be part of his new secret plan he's doing. I don't know. I'm not trying to find out. Because he's saying, you know, everybody's trying to figure out what he's doing. I'm not really trying to figure out what he's doing. I'm just enjoying his content. You know? I'm on my own journey. But I like to watch the growth and the mistakes of other entrepreneurs. Because even people bigger than us... Even millionaires like Glenda Cameron, yes, they do make mistakes. They are human. We all make mistakes, you know, especially in the journey of being an entrepreneur. Glenda has admitted his mistakes, which I got to give him credit for. With the uh, car rental business, he's admitted a lot of his mistakes. I've admitted my mistakes. Everything I've ever done. Uh, here we go with this loud ass uh, AM and I'm sorry guys Give me one second I've admitted my mistakes Every time I've done business with Troy Mason Was a mistake Every single time Working with E. Dane Cole Was a mistake I should have just took the information I got from E. Dane Cole On the management company Because that gave me the whole holding company idea I should just took that information, never called E. Dean Cole, and got a filing company to set up my business. I would have been way further along. But with that being said, less of you have an excuse because there are filing companies that do a lot of the setting up of the entity that are cheaper than lawyers. There's AI technology that literally even Glennon is probably going to use, if not already. 
It literally can replace employees, AI technology. And I just decided today while I'm talking to you guys that I am going to uh, get the upgraded version of chat GPT. Oh, we got another ambulance coming. So it's going to be a little loud. Wow, busy day. A lot of drama today, guys. Right now, I'm in downtown New Britain, and there's just a lot of chaos. Sirens are going off everywhere. But where was I? Yeah, it, 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 Glenn is right. The average person isn't going to get off his ass to even do this stuff long enough to even see the results. I was watching a young lady. She has a uh, channel, basically just like my nice guy driver channel, complaining about Uber and Lyft, but hers was better than mine. I'm going to be honest, I'm be totally honest, much better than my channel. And she just stopped and gave up. I didn't understand it. She was getting a lot of views too. She wasn't showing her face. So this was a faceless channel. You could tell she was black just because of her accent and her voice, but I thought it was great because it was a faceless channel. And she couldn't even stick that out, guys. I was going to go into just talking about faceless channels, but I had to talk about that one first because even people doing faceless channels, sometimes they just give up. I don't get it. And she came back on the channel one time and she posted a video and just took it down about, you know, life issues and drama and I think she was a little embarrassed she even posted it and she pulled it down, but a lot of people saw it, including me. And I get it, life happens. And life happened for me during uh, at least three of these channels where I just gave up for months at a time, went back to it. So I'll be a hypocrite if I didn't admit that I haven't always stayed consistent but if that young lady comes back, it hasn't been too long where it won't even affect her channel. Like, she'll be getting views just like she never left. She's been gone literally for about two months, you know. And I see people like Glendon. Uh, who else did it? Credit Plug. Uh, All Things Real. Great content creators. They pulled their channels down as a way of telling you guys we're pissed off at you good subscribers. We only care about the 10%. When they're the experts, they know how this works. The credit plug knows that anything to do with credit is gonna attract the negative black audience. It just is. My channels are going to attract some of that same people that watch Glendon stuff are going to watch mine. You know, but I know this. What am I doing outside of this channel? I'm building a faceless channel, guys. Glendon knows this. He talked about it. But rather than complaining about the people you already have, just go ahead and build the faceless channel. Don't mention it to these people. Don't send emails out. Don't even send me an email. Just make the faceless channel content and create that new audience. I don't get why content creators feel like they have to tell their old people about their other channels. You don't have to. You know, I choose to do it. I told people 
all my channels to go check out my rideshare channel because I know that rideshare channel is going to be a mixed audience because of the type of content it is. So it really does matter the type of content you're doing too. You're not going to get just a black audience. And it really depends on what you're talking about. But the only thing really makes me different because I feel like I'm just a regular guy out here is I think that's what makes me attractive. You know? That's what makes the few people that watch me come back is because I'm just like them. I'm out here grinding. And I'll tell you everything I'm doing. And when I tell you everything I'm doing, you tell me in the comments if you're doing enough. Because the key to hanging in this game is to do a lot more. I'm driving Uber, Lyft. I have five YouTube channels. Uh, I have what? Three Instagrams. I'm down to one TikTok. I have a LinkedIn. Uh, I have a Facebook group. And I have two active pages on Facebook separate from my main. Oh, I have two personal pages as well. I have uh, William Bootsy Blandin and I have William Blandin. So I have two personal pages, one group, two business pages, one for Bland Drake, one for Schneider Business. Uh, technically, I have six channels on YouTube. But I only actively post daily on five. So uh, that's a lot. Uh, total subscriber follow count, I would say it's around 10,000 right now. Which to the big boys is nothing. It's pennies. But I appreciate every little growth I have now because it's growing. I don't need to switch my channels off and get upset because I learned that the best online business, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, the best online business is affiliate marketing. That's just my opinion. And the reason why I say that, it's a... I'm not going to say easy sell because you still got to do the attraction marketing and stuff. But it's, I don't feel like I have to force anybody to buy. I'm promoting stuff that people can afford. So even with a black audience, they can afford it. And I do realize that with a black audience, the percentage of people that want to start a business is smaller. I do realize that. But I'm building another audience outside of these to combat that. You know? So, I'm not going to complain or switch my channels off. Nothing against those guys. That's what they want to do. You know? They have big audiences. So, they can afford to do that. I think if you have a big audience, you can actually afford to do that. I'm trying to get every little affiliate sales I can get <coughs> and I'm not I'm going to say on record there may come a time where I want to do what they're doing I may feel the same way they feel get pissed off shut these channels off and just focus on my faceless channel but as the example I gave you even with faceless channels some people just give up they let life get in the way. They stop posting. And persistence is in the Atlas Academy, which is included with Internet Income System. Now I see why they have a motivation section. Because it keeps you, it keeps that driving. Most of you. Lennon's right, most of you will never make it because you don't have that drive. You have to have
have that drive in you. And I mean, Glenda be like, I dare you. Or you see the passion, the spit be flying out of his mouth. I dare you to start a chant. Because he knows most of you won't do it. And he's right. Most of you, even though you're listening to me and it makes sense, yeah, let me start my first YouTube channel. Literally, the information's out there. You don't even have to listen to me. You can literally go in right now in the search bar on YouTube, how to start a YouTube channel. And then you could go on to ChatGPT and be like, ideas for YouTube channels. But talking about chat GPT, not to change the subject, but I think I'm going to get the uh, pro level so I can get a lot more information for uh, these Pick3 AI videos that I want to do. Oh, affiliate marketing. My number one affiliate marketing program right now, you get 100% commissions, internet income system. Atlas Academy training is included for free. And you get video funnels. You can create your own little mini funnels. Uh, you're paying $100 a month, but you get your first person to sign up. That cancels that out. So you're getting $100 a month in. And you're paying $100 out, obviously. So your first sign up, you're basically free. Um, so you're getting 100% commissions on that. But I'm doing a lot of smaller ones, Pick3 AI um, is probably one of my top ones. Uh, Opus Clips, I got a links for those below or above this video, depending on where you're seeing it. Uh, those three, I've been doing good. I do have a PayHip affiliate link, nobody's really signing up for, but PayHip it's like a free Kajabi. You might want to check it out. You can host all your own courses there, your own training there. You could use it. And they have a free level that gives you a lot. That's one of the reason why I got that referral out. And the one of the reasons why I want to go back to saying affiliate marketing is the best is Honestly, because if you're using the tools for your business, it almost doesn't feel like you're actually selling to anybody. That's why I like affiliate marketing. I don't feel like I'm selling to you guys. I don't feel like I'm putting any pressure on you guys, you know, or anything because I'm just telling you, simply telling you what I'm doing. That's it. But you'll find that everybody has an affiliate marketing uh, program. Chase Bank right now. I'm at Chase right now. They have an affiliate marketing program. You know, I, I don't really push it, but I have a link that if anybody opens an account with Chase, I get a little commission. You know, I think they give me up to like $500. Not a lot. Uh, but a lot of the banks have them. You know. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure Verizon has an affiliate program. Amazon, of course. Everybody knows about those. They don't really pay a lot on, uh, with Amazon. That's why I don't really push too much Amazon. But everything helps. Everything helps. And there's no pressure if you guys don't buy. If you guys don't check the links below and don't buy anything from me, it's not going to hurt my feelings. I'll probably never know. But I got to tell you, out of all the affiliate marketing products, internet income system, you basically can promote, it'll show you how to promote any business on the planet. I'm just saying. Links below. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Thank you.